It's a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, until we created an unholy flavor profile. God, what was I thinking? Ugh. <coughs> Hello and welcome to Dining with Do It. Today we ask ourselves, what if we took equal parts binging with Babish and 3D printing nerd and threw in just a dash of the King of Random? The results, as you'll find, are sure to delight. So I was recently watching I Like to Make Stuff and he was talking about how this silicone mold material that he had was going bad. And I was like, what? I didn't even realize that could happen. So I set to work on a project that could use the mold material that I had. And once I had a negative printed out for my mold, I filled the mold with water to figure out the volume of the mold mix that I would need so I didn't have to mix up more silicone than was needed. So this was a food grade silicone that I uh, had picked up online about a year ago and I was a little nervous because I hadn't opened it but um, when he said that it could go bad I uh, was a little concerned about how the mold would come out and you really just mix 10 parts of A with, to one part of B and um, mix it well together and then what I did here was called the bombs away method because I didn't have a degasser. So after 24 hours, it was cured and ready to go. So I just went around the edge with an X-Acto knife to help get it out of the base and it peeled up pretty easily from there. So I gotta give credit where credit is due. The King of Random really did an awesome job and this is where I did I got most of my research from. I just wanted to see how the various candies would do in a 3D printed mold and how each of them would pick up the detail from the 3D prints. I'll leave a link in the description below to his site for the specific recipes and you should definitely check out those videos too because they're awesome.
So go ahead and do yourself a favor and just don't ever combine watermelon and cherry Jolly Ranchers together. I did both of them because I needed the volume more than anything. I didn't want to run out um, when I was doing the mold. And um, I have to say, unless you're into like really old childhood medicine, you should probably stay away from that flavor profile. So I did these in the order of the time it took each one to set up. Um, so the Jolly Ranchers only took about five minutes to set up and they were ready to go. Um, the gummies took about 10 and then the chocolate took about 20. So I just heated up the chocolate in lukewarm water and just made sure that there weren't any chunks. Um, in hindsight, I might have wanted to let it go a little longer. Um, it came out a little chunky, but all you have to do is kind of tap the mold and it kind of it really fills in quite nicely. So even though it might not be exactly perfect, um, you'll end up with a result that you'll enjoy. So I didn't have the most perfect mold, but I thought some of the detail was pretty impressive. I mean, some of the stuff I made so shallow just to see how far it would go. In hindsight, I wish that I had done two colors on uh, the gummies and the Jolly Ranchers just because they're harder to show on camera, but they came out definitely with recognizable shapes. So um, it's something that I'm interested in and I'll play with more. And if you're interested in what we're doing here with 3D printing, CNCing, laser cutting, we encourage you to hit that subscribe button and the like button below. Uh, we'll have videos posted regularly and if you hit the bell icon, it definitely helps you stay up to date. Thanks for watching.